Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a speed clean. You guys are gonna do a speed clean with me. I wrote out a list of some things that I wanna get done. So like I said, I wanna vacuum out the sofa. I do wanna do the ceiling fan downstairs. I wanna get the window sills, just wipe them. You know, little buggies and dirt and dust collecting those. I do want to put a tablet in the dishwasher to get that cleaned. And I do want to put a tablet in the washing machine to get that clean. You're supposed to do it every three months. I think I'm a little bit over, but I'm gonna to try to tackle that today. I do wanna clean off the top of the stove and clean out the microwave. So not a ton of stuff, but I'm just gonna to try to speed through and get everything clean. If you guys are cleaning with me, let me know that down in the comments below. So guys, let's get started. I'm going to start with cleaning out the washing machine. Um, my washing machine tells me what tablets to use in it, so make sure you check with your um, washing machine, like check either the um, instruction manual to see what you need to clean it out. But I am just using the tablets and it has a mode for this. I'm gonna put that tablet in and I'm showing you here that it has a mode for that. It takes about an hour to clean out the whole thing. So I'm gonna get that started. I'm also going to clean the dishwasher. So I'm gonna get those two things working for me while I tackle the other things on my to-do list. And when I went to clean the dishwasher, I realized that I needed to unload it first. And then I'm also going to realize real life problems here that I did not have um, a tablet um, to put in there. So I just used some distilled vinegar, white vinegar, and I put it in a cup at the bottom of the dishwasher and it got the job done. It'll take out any odors or anything like that. And you just put it in the cleaning mode on your dishwasher and it will deep clean your dishwasher. I also put a little vinegar in a cup in my microwave to break up some of the grime in there so that I can go in and give it a good wipe down. And you're gonna see that I wind up using spray as well because the vinegar, it does leave an odor. Um, I just wanted it to smell nice. So I go in with a multi-purpose spray after um, I have the vinegar do its job and get rid of the grime. some dishes which are never ending let me know down in the comments below if you've been on my channel for a while you know that I like to hand wash dishes let me know if you're a hand wash girl or are you a dishwasher girl I like to hand wash them but clearly as you can see on my to-do list and then move on to the next task. And then my daughter's little play area was not on the list but I saw that it needed some sprucing and picking up so I'm going to do that and then make my way over to vacuum out the sofa. So um, let me know how you guys are doing. I am going to have a great, I, I forgot, I'm working with the name, I don't know what I'm gonna call it, but a big toy clean that I'm gonna do up her toys. I do this every year before my kids' birthdays and before their, um, before Christmas, of course. 
but since her birthday is the 20th, December 20th, and Christmas is the 25th, I'm just gonna do a big toy purge because I know she's gonna get a ton of new things in. Let me know when you guys do your big toy purge. to those window seals. I told you guys that they were pretty gross and I'm gonna give them a really good wipe down. Guys, holy fingerprints on the fireplace. That will be on my next to-do list. I did not even notice that and yeah, that needs to be wiped out. So I'm getting everything put back together. I'm going to do the other windows and then also give the blinds a good wipe down. And then finally, I will make my way over to the sofa. I'm going to tackle the ceiling fans. How do you guys work when you, you're doing kind of a deep clean? I try to start with the easiest stuff first or things that can work for themselves first like the dishwasher and the washing machine. And then I, I like to tackle the hardest thing or the more labor intense thing last, which today would be the sofa um, because I have to take off all the cushions and it's just, it's a lot. But how do you guys like to work? Do you like to do the hardest thing first and then work your way back to the easier stuff? I just like to get the easiest stuff checked off my list so I can feel accomplished like I got some stuff actually checked off my list. And I started pretty early, but everything in total on my to-do list only took me an hour and a half. So then I got to relax and spend the rest of the day with my family. So my tip for you guys, if you have a ton of stuff you want to do, especially prepping for the holidays, break it up into little sections and just do a little a day. And by the time the, time the holidays come, you will have everything clean and you won't have spent every single weekend if you're a working mom like I am doing chores. So break it up, section off a few items to spend maybe an hour or two on a weekend day and just get those things checked off.
spot clean the sofa and I just use water and a damp cloth. My cushions do come off but um, little, I don't know what that was, cream cheese or something, it comes off really easy. And then I did notice one section of my couch had some peels on it but it's weird because none of the other parts of the couch have peels on it so I'm just going to go over it with this little handy dandy shaver that I actually picked up from Aldi and it worked so good and I you can use it on clothes or anything that has peels and it makes it and it restores it back to new I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope it gave you motivation to speak clean a few areas in your home and to get some things checked off I will see you guys in my next video have an amazing day bye